Good morning, church. You may have tuned in this morning expecting to see Teresa Eads, our children and youth director, doing her morning devotional, but she's on vacation today. Well, a well-deserved time off, and so we wish her well on that, and I am filling in for her today. Got to thinking about ways that we experience God, the way that we see God and hear from God. And I think that's one of the more challenging topics we deal with sometimes because Sometimes it seems God is silent, or God is far away, or God is not listening to us. And I assure you that that's not true, but I think it's part of our challenge in trying to see God and trying to hear from God within the challenges of life. Well, there's a song that speaks of this uh, that I often use in church as a song of preparation called Open My Eyes That I May See. Open my eyes that I may see God. Now, we know that God is spirit, and so we see God through God's creation and through many different things in the world. The song Open My Eyes That I May See was written by a lady named Clara Scott, Uh, who lived in the 1800s, 1841 to 1897. She was born in Elk Grove Village, which is near Chicago, Illinois, and lived in in Iowa most of her life, actually. In 1856, she attended the Music Institute held by C.M. Cady in Chicago, Illinois, and got connected with writing more music and uh, that type of thing. And by 1859, she was teaching music at the Ladies' Seminary in Lyons, Iowa. I didn't know there was a Ladies' Seminary in Lyons, Iowa until now, but I think that's wonderful. 1861, she married Henry Clay Scott, and in 1882, she published the Royal Anthem Book, which is noted as the first volume of choir anthems that was published by a woman. Unfortunately, 1897, Clara Scott died in a buggy accident that was caused by a runaway horse. We don't think about buggy accidents much today, but there truly uh, was, I mean, I'm sure it's as dangerous as a car accident would be in our present day. Well, the song that she wrote, Open My Eyes That I May See, that's one of her most famous compositions, is based on Psalm 119, verse 18. Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. It reads in Psalm 119. Also, Matthew 5, 8, we read, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. You know, seeing God is not only dependent on human sight, but also our willingness to see that which is spiritual, that which is in our hearts and our minds. We see God in the created world around us, the beauty of his creation. We see God in the face of our friends and our neighbors those who come before us and witness to us, those who are our friends, those who help us in times of need, we truly can see God in their faces. Verse 2 of this song is, Open my ears that I may hear. Isaiah 30 verse 21 says, And when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left, your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. The prophet Isaiah was telling what God had said about uh, guiding the people throughout their journeys. We hear about this, uh, this topic of hearing God's voice in John 10, verse 27, where Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. We hear God through answered prayer. We hear God through the rushing wind or a babbling brook. We hear God through the words of those who love us and show us grace. Verse 3 of this song says, Open my mouth and let me bear gladly the warm truth everywhere, meaning that we are to share this good news from God with others. Psalm 15 verses 1 through 3 reads, O Lord, who may abide in your tent, who may dwell on your holy hill, those who walk blamelessly and do what is right and speak the truth for their, from their heart, who do not slander with their tongue and who do no evil to their friends, nor take up a reproach against their neighbors. 
being holy has to do with not speaking ill of others, not saying the things that divide us. Ephesians 4.15 captures this idea as well. By speaking the truth with love, let us grow in every way into Christ, who is the head. Well, I'd like to share with you the song, Open My Eyes and I May See, and I encourage you to sing along. And think of the different ways that you hear and see God in your daily life, and maybe how you hear and see God through others. Open my eyes that I may see glimpses of truth thou hast for me. Place in my hands a wonderful key that shall unclasp and set me free. Silently now I wait for thee, ready, my God, thy will to see. Open my eyes, illumine me, Spirit divine. Open my ears that I may hear voices of truth, thou sendest clear. And while the wave does fall on my ear, everything false will disappear. Silently now I wait for thee, ready, my God, thy will to see. Open my ears, illumine me, Spirit divine. Open my mouth and let me bear gladly the warm truth everywhere. Open my heart and let me prepare Love with thy children thus to share Silently now I wait for thee Ready, my God, thy will to see Open my heart, illumine me Spirit divine Well, I have that prayer for you today and for all of us that we hear and see God in new and different ways through others and through the world around us, that we listen to God's leading and that we follow and that we tell others of God's love and grace that we, that we encounter, that they too may hear God and see him through you. Have a blessed day. Amen.